I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And peace and grace be upon the house of David, the Bayath, Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double honors of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, um, so I want to get into a lesson, Lord willing to be edifying unto the elect, okay, uh, entitled Faith Before the Fact, okay, because um, that's exactly what faith is, all right? Faith is, as it's uh, said in Hebrews, which I'm going to get, Lord willing, all right, it's the, it's the substance of things hoped for, all right? So to us, our fact is faith, all right? Our fact, our faith is fact, I should say. And that's how you please the Heavenly Father is by is by believing something as a fact before it's actually proven. All right. By believing just based off of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Yahweh Shai's word that it's able or willing or will be done, whatever he says. All right. And before it's actually done. OK. And that's what separates a righteous man from a wicked man. OK. Because when you go through the scriptures and, you know, when you go through Hebrews, the uh, 11th chapter, you know, all those uh, people were uh, considered, um, you know, faithful or righteous because they believed on the Lord, um, his word, you know, before it was actually proven that it was going to be done. OK, so I'm going to start off with this scripture in John, the 20th chapter, the 24th verse, you know, Lord willingness is edifying unto the elect who we endure all things for, okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Baha Raka Kodash, the Holy Spirit. So it says, but Thomas, one of the 12 called Didym Didymus, was not with them when Yahweh Shai came. And the other disciples therefore said unto him, we have seen the Lord, but he said unto them, except I see him, Salak, except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, again, the disciples were the, were within and Thomas with them. Then came Yahweh Shai, the doors being shut and stood in the midst and said, peace be unto you. Then said, then said he to Thomas, reach hither thy finger and behold my hands. And reach thither thy hands and thrust it into my side, and believe, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, my power. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that are not seen, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. All right. And that's the point right there, man. OK, Thomas, you know, even though he is a disciple, he believed that Yahweh Shai raised from the dead because he saw. All right. He had faith after after the fact. OK, after the fact of seeing Yahweh Shai. And that's why Yahweh Shai said this, you know, and that's why this is written, because we being in this truth, as Thomas was in this truth, we have to have faith before the fact, okay? We have to have faith without seeing it first. And that's the faith that's going to be able to move mountains. That's the faith that is going to be able to perform miracles that are unexplainable, okay? That's the faith that Yahweh Shai spoke about that said, with the Most High, all things are possible, all right? That's the faith that makes you truly blessed, is a faith before you actually have proven whatever it is that you, you know, uh, uh, want to see. Okay. So I'm gonna get this uh, next scripture. As I said before, the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse one, it says, now faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. Okay. Now what's a synonym of facts evidence. Okay. So our, our facts is our faith. Okay. Now, majority of this world, they work opposite. 
they don't believe until they have the facts. Okay, show me the facts. Then I'll, then I'll, then I'll believe you. But we have to move on just pure, pure faith in the Lord's word of just believing that this is what he said. And, um, you know, that's that's how, you know, you prove, you know, your uh, your faithfulness to the most high. You know, that's how you prove your faithfulness to the most high is that you have the 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 faith in whatever his word is. OK, I'm going to jump down to verse six. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. So without faith, you won't be able to you, you won't be able to uh, please the most high. OK, without faith, you won't you you're nothing to the most high because you're basically saying that you want the most high to prove his power to you, approve his word to you, you know, so that you can believe on him. But that's not how this that's not how this thing works, man. All right. And that's why this whole world is, you know, the majority of this world is wicked because the majority of this world works on uh, faith after the fact. All right. And that's why, you know, that's why, you know, you don't see the majesty of how Bashim how Shai working throughout this world. OK, you know, on a, on a high righteous uh, vibration. OK, but, you know, you have those certain men that the Lord who has implanted his faith in. All right. Get that scripture too, Ephesians chapter two, verse eight, who, who have faith before the fact. Ephesians chapter two, verse eight, for by grace, we are saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of the most high. OK, faith is a gift of the most high, actually believing on something before it happens. OK, in this world, that's 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 insane. Right. That's unheard of. This world is all about. I believe it when I see it. But that's not how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, that's not how the righteous are actually supposed to be moving. OK, um, get the scripture. This is um, Romans chapter eight. Verse 24, it says, for we are saved by hope. OK, hope is a synonymous with faith. We are saved by faith, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope? Why doeth he yet hope for? So if you can see something, you have no reason to hope for it. You already see it. And that's why, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why, you know, um, being in this truth, we're hoping for the kingdom. We're hoping for salvation. We hope for everything that we can't see. You know, we don't hope for, uh, 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 you know, uh, um, anything carnal. All right. We don't hope for things that are seen. We're, we are hoping for the, the literal things that, Nobody has seen before. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Okay? And that's right there is what's going to save us. The fact that we have <laughs> faith before the fact. All right? When, when, when you know, those miracles start to happen, which, you know, we have the, uh, the ability to do so now because we have the Holy Spirit, but we have to have, the, we have, to have it mixed with faith. All right? And then once you have it mixed with faith, wholehearted faith, it will be done. Verse 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then we do with patience wait for it. And that's the point right there. Okay? Because faith is going to increase your patience. Because you will know and you understand that you're hoping for something that you have not seen yet. Okay? But you know it's there. You know it's possible. All right, so you know with that, I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, and be edifying to the elect. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.